This one's called Climate Change. And then I've got three very short pieces as well. Climate change. Spring turns to winter again. Temperature drops. Snowdrops cuddle up close to daffodils. Both in spring finery, now feeling cold. Wishing for shelter from cold, cutting winds. Storm fronts announced in weather forecasts. Winter hats and gloves appear once again. And that scarf you abandoned weeks ago. And the sun shone brightly and was really warm. Summer in February and then back to the cold. Now the weatherman talks of dips and troughs, isobars that push down or roll up, creating cold spells or pulling up warmth. The sort of weather we all declare wasn't like this when we were young, carefree. Then we plodded to school through knee-deep snow. Now kids stay at home when it's one inch deep. Climate change brings unusual weather. Rainbows and low clouds and icy roadways, followed by days of unusual heat, then back to storms and whirling tornadoes. New leaves are born on high treetop branches, only to shiver and try to cling on. When the wind beats at their stems so young, soon they'll be sweltering and the sun shines again. The calendar tells us we're now in the spring. The weatherman says there'll be snow on the hills, maybe even snow lower down, so take care as you set off for work or go to the shops. Wear lots of layers you can shed when it's sunny. Take sunglasses and just in case, take a book to read in the car when the road's blocked with snow or with floods. Just your look. <laughs> These three single verse things are actually not written by me, but I thought they were typical for tonight. Um, another International Women's Day one by, by Kathleen Panettiere. One morning in Eden. This morning my eyes are mesmerised by golden arrows of sunlight streaking through the kitchen window, dancing around my bowl of apples Polishing bright green, bright red, I am pierced by the arrow of undeniable desire. I pick up an apple and take a bite. This is how it starts, just one tiny bite. The apple comes willingly to share in this feast, teeth sinking in, crunching, juices flowing, each to each, savouring one irresistible bite after another, consuming right down to the core. The apple discarding its seed, letting it fall back down to feed the dust, consuming and renewing. This is how we live. This is how we die. This is how it started one morning in Eden. Mm. Two about writing in a way. Um, this one's called Horses, the Types. It's by Stephanie Bradbury. Horses, the Types. The high horse, the dark horse, the horse of a different colour, the gift horse, the dead horse, the wild horse that can drag you away, the horse you hold, the horse you change midstream, the horse you lead to water that will only drink from the horse's mouth of its own reflection. <laughs> and one called Icaroids by Harry Owen. Yearning to fly to the sun, all we can muster are words of wax and feathers. No wonder we're doomed. But failures? I doubt it. Aren't the attempts worth more than any bleak refusal to try? Are deaths far cleaner than the death of all dreaming? Mm -hmm. 